other mornings at Brown's Chapel, headquarters of the civil rights movement in Selma, the adults left first. Today, only 28, walking in small groups, went to the Dallas County Courthouse. Their purpose, to see the chief voting registrar, to demand a speed up in the registration process. Sheriff Jim Clark ushered them into the second floor courtroom of Circuit Judge James Hare. The judge warned them they faced five days in jail or $50 fines or both for contempt of court if they remained at the courthouse. They left. Shortly after noon came the students' turn. 346 of them, mostly teenagers, in groups of five to avoid violating the city parade ordinance. They walked quietly to the courthouse, then formed three long rows in front of the courthouse, joined hands or clapped, saying, we shall overcome and other integrationist songs. Sheriff Clark, backed up by a strong force of deputies, city and state police, waited until all the youngsters had arrived, then warned them he would take them into custody for truancy if they failed to disperse. When the teenagers ignored the sheriff's orders and began parading in the street in front of the courthouse, Clark ordered them marched off. Through the streets of Selma, the pupils marched under heavy police guard. issued a statement saying they were demonstrating because their parents have been denied the right to vote. In Dallas County, although Negroes outnumber whites, several thousand whites are registered, only a few hundred Negroes. The teenagers were protesting voter registration procedures under which the Board of Registrars is open just two days a month, except under special circumstances. Through it all today, Martin Luther King spent his third day in Selma's city jail. There are no indications when he'll postpone to get out. Charles Quinn, NBC News, Montgomery. Uh, things were fairly well, as well as you can expect in jail. Uh, I think uh, as a result of being there, as a result of the creative witness, of hundreds and even thousands of Negroes in this community, we have been able to bring this whole issue to the uh, attention of the nation and I think to the conscience. I think there is a need now uh, for new legislation, a constitutional amendment uh, to grapple with the real problems that we face in this area in Alabama and Mississippi and other areas of the South. Uh, on the basis of this, I'm seriously considering going to Washington to talk to President Johnson about this whole matter.